Hello, it's Nikki, and all week I'm going to be sharing some of my biggest lessons of 2021. And there are lots of other things, but these, uh, basically, I wanted to share lessons that I thought might be useful that you can apply to your own business or your own brand. And yesterday I spoke about content and visibility and really thinking about how I wanted to show up. And I've taken lots of information from that to work out my next set of goals for the coming year. But today I wanted to talk about a spectrum, capacity, um, wiggle room are some of the phrases that came up. Because I think the last few years has really shown us the importance, the absolute importance of working with our circumstances. And this is what I endeavour to do with clients all of the time. I always say I have no agenda. I have no time frame. Um, I'm not going to say that you have to do something in a week. Like you have to know what is going on in your life and to know where your edge is. Now, that being said, I know there's always going to be someone or something that needs your time and we can, as a habit or maybe a limiting belief, we can put things off or we can say that it's not the right time and we can tell each other stories. And I think we're all adult enough to know now and we all know ourselves well enough whether we are actually putting something off for a genuine reason of like, I'm really just not going to do that right now because it makes absolutely no sense to add something new to my already very full plate. But then sometimes there are moments where I have to say to myself, you really want to do this, so why are you doing nothing about it? And that's an annoying question because usually that means that there's something else going on. Um, maybe there's fear maybe there's uh, insecurity, maybe there's uncertainty, all kinds of things. Um, and firstly, I want to challenge the idea that unless you do something quickly or you're all in, means that you won't make change or you won't do the things that you want to do. And I find this really unfair because I know I am not at the stage of my life right now even if I wanted to, or even if I really wanted something so much, it wouldn't be the right decision for me, or this, probably the safest decision to say, right, well, I really want this. So I'm going to dedicate 18 hours a day, every day, seven days a week to this one goal. Because that doesn't fit in with my life right now. I've got two small children. I've got a partner. I've got a house. Uh, I've got business. I've got relationships. I've got things that I want to do. So I am going to need more capacity to make things work. And I think for a long time, so many of us grew up with that conversation of like doing something for a fortnight and going all in. Um, the 90s diet culture was full of this, like do this seven day plan or do this um, month in January. And yes, I know sometimes people really need that sort of kickstart of like, right, that immersion moment. But equally, I think we all know ourselves well enough that we can understand how we can set ourselves up for success and what we need to be able to do that. And for me, that has been wiggle room. And I know that I am not the kind of person who thrives when my back is so far up against the wall that I can't move. In fact, I just feel stuck and rigid and uninspired. And then all the stories start in my head. And I know sometimes people love to tell these very glamorized stories, I guess, of I just had five, I had five bucks to my name and, you know, I knew I had to start this business. I am not in a stage of a life where I can get to a point where I only have five bucks to my name. That is, that is not how I want to operate. And uh, that is something very real and uh, very real for, for lots of families. And 
to glamorize that I don't think is particularly helpful because we all want more than that. We all require more than that. So this has been interesting for me when I've been setting my goals, when I've been looking at the other things that has been happening in 2021, is that sometimes I've tried to do things very quickly and I've had to stop and I've had to really notice the other things that I'm trying to do at the same time. So for example, my now six-year-old was off for the first three months of 2020. <coughs> Sorry. And let me just have a sip of tea. One sec, one sec. So my six-year-old was off for the first three months, that's better, um, of the year. And so this time last year, when I was thinking about my goals and what I was going to do in the first quarter, that kind of just went out the window, really, because suddenly I had all these other things to juggle and these other things to think about. And it's been interesting noticing success on a spectrum because there are, have been some days this year where I have felt so tired and overwhelmed and overstimulated almost, like really burnt out that I felt really frozen in that progress, that I haven't been able to do the things that I wanted to do. And I've, of course, gone into a lot of like deep reflection in that time of like, why? Why is this happening? And firstly, I want to say it's because of a lot of that's going on in the world right now. And that's completely normal. And the fact that you're having all of these kind of feelings means that you're probably a human being and you're absorbing all of this stuff that's going on. And so I very quickly, instead of doing that, I'm on or I'm off, or I'm working on it or I'm not, I try to look at it as a spectrum of maybe that spectrum of not even being one to 10, one to 100 of saying, okay, I'm about a seven today. How can I move it along to be a nine today? And that's all I could do. And then some days they'll be like, right, I'm a seven today. I'm going to go up to a 30 quick let's do that. And that felt really good as well. So I want you to think about that in terms of your goals going forward, of really thinking, actually, I need to give them a bit of stretch and a bit of wiggle room. So they're sustainable. So they're consistent. So they're going to feel really good and really enjoyable at the same time. The final thing that I've really learned around this case of capacity is this year, I've been really shocked especially with one particular goal that I was working on. And this goal was, it was more than a nice to have, but it wasn't necessarily, it wasn't one of those goals, it was the, okay, what was it? The what was really, really clear, like it's this and it's this and oh, oh and I was in the feeling of it. But the how, I had no idea, no idea how that was going to happen but it's really funny. The how and the what came together really, really quickly. And suddenly that goal was here. It was here in my, in my hand and I was doing it. And it was a very interesting process to work through and understand. Because of course this goal has been in the background for, for a long time. So it wasn't that I suddenly woke up and was like, oh, do you know what? I'd really like to do this. This has been years and years of like chugging away and hours and research and learning and all of that. But the actual bringing it to life felt very quickly. It almost felt like I planted a seed one day and the next day I went out into the garden and I had like a full flower bed. And it was a very interesting process to navigate because it then took me some time to almost catch up with my goal. And it usually happens the other way where I can see the goal in the distance, but I'm kind of chugging away sort of trying to line things up and feel into it and kind of match match the where I'm trying to get to. And it actually happened the other way this time. So clearly a lot of the work had kind of come to fruition, but the goal suddenly arrived in my lap, like I achieved it, 
And then the next few months, I went into my head again of trying to overanalyze the process. And I got really stuck in it. And I got really almost, uh, yeah, shall I be honest? Yeah, let's be honest. I got really attached and really controlling over it and really needy around it and really almost doubting it. It was almost like those films where you see where somebody has had an unsuccessful, I don't even know if that's a, the right term, but had been unlucky in love, basically. And then their dream person came along. And instead of just enjoying that process and being in it, instead, they went into, oh my gosh, I've got to go through their phone. Oh, maybe they're doing this. Maybe I should get a private detective. Da -da 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 -da. And I, I doubted it. I doubted the process. And that was really interesting for me to see what else was going on underneath there. And it was a real reminder that there has to be so much other stuff around just going for your goal. So of course, I had all of these things like, who am I to want that? Or am I deserving of it? Or has it come too quickly? Does this mean that it's come so quickly that it's all going to fall apart? Um, all of those old stories. Really, really interesting. And now I'm out the other side of it and the goal has happened and I'll share what it is very soon. Um, and I've aligned with it and I've made peace with it and I've worked through the process of it. Um, but I'm going to say that it's challenged me in every, every way who I am, what's important, everything. So I hope that's been useful for you today. And I would love to know what's going on for you in terms of clarity around your capacity. And what are you gonna need? And which of your needs that you know that you need have not been met this year? I know for me, and I was even saying this, um, we had a Zoom chat, me and my girlfriends the other night. We were saying, we just want to go on an adventure. Like, I feel like I haven't left my postcode for so long. I haven't been on an aeroplane since 2015. And again, you know, I go into the point of like, well, some people never get to go on an aeroplane. And uh, obviously, I'm, I'm very aware of those things. Um, but I know that my friends, my fun and my adventure kind of parts of my life. I'm really craving a bit of a top up. And so I look forward to bringing those in in 2022. And I think that is my final point, I guess, is it's really hard to do everything all at once and to be accelerating and winning on, and I'm doing inverted commas there, winning on all levels because there's only one of you and we have limited capacity or is that a limiting belief but you know we have to know our own capabilities as well um yeah i'm gonna leave it there i went off on a tangent there if you want to do some goal setting with me i would absolutely love to support you um if you go over to the goal setting and strategy section um you can find my goal setting course um the magical world of practical goal setting if you are looking for support for the next six months and you want that container to go in deep and to say, do you know what, Nikki? I'm doing this. I'm doing this for the next six months. Um, then I would love, love, love to support you. Um, all the details are down below and I'll catch you again very soon. Lots of love. Bye.